Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, this morning we are trying. Okay, I already opened it. I haven't used it yet. Lion's Mane Elixir from Four Sigmatic. <laughs> And this would be a great uh, time to just appreciate podcast marketing because all the podcasts that I listen to um, are all sponsored by Four Sigmatic. And uh, I was in the store, I was in community the other day, and I just saw them on the shelf in like the coffee tea area. And I figured I should try them because it sounds like it's good, according to the advertisements. Uh, so yeah, it is, because it's an elixir, it's healthy. Which means, oh, it doesn't say what it's for. Ugh, it probably says on the box, but they all say like what they're for and I think the lion's main one is for like an energy boost and like brain focus and stuff So you're supposed to drink it in the morning and then I also got the hot chocolate one that you can drink at night And then I got another one which I can't remember, but they come in just like you can buy them in a box or You can buy them in like single packets and they're a tad expensive. I think this was like three dollars or something, but Do it for health, right? So I have my coffee And it's just like a normal coffee from, I think it's from BC, and I'm going to, I started opening it, and then I realized I should probably film it. Okay. Mm, it smells like nothing, I don't know. Okay, so you're supposed to just like put it in your coffee, which you can only kind of see me doing. And then, we're gonna stir it. The problem is that I've never had this coffee before, so I don't know if like <laughs> the coffee tastes good or not. <laughs> so I probably should have thought about that before. Okay. Then okay. Okay, should we try it? Ah, there's a chunk. Gross. Okay, make sure it's stirred properly because nobody likes chunks of whatever this is to come in here. Okay, well it doesn't taste bad. Like I said, I can't tell if I'm tasting the coffee or if I'm tasting this. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't taste like strong that it's like bad or anything. It has lion's mane extract, field mint extract, organic rose hips extract, organic redolia extract, and Reb A, oh, which is stevia leaf. Interesting. Oh, it's also made in Santa Monica. Cool. Okay, so it doesn't taste bad, so therefore you can probably try it if you wanted to. Unlike all the podcasts, I'm not sponsored, so you have to go pay $3 for the little packet. But, so yeah, I'll let you know how my brain feels, because it's supposed to be good for your brain. So, let's be productive today. Uh, and for the rest of the day, I guess we can, what am I doing today? Um, I'm going for lunch with my mom, and then getting my brows done. This week has been just next level for appointments and I feel bad for anyone that's watching my Instagram stories because like I do work, but it looks like I just go to appointments. Like I got my nails done and a facial and Botox and my hair and then I'm getting my brows and another facial. Living my best life over here, self-love to the max. Sometimes it just all happens at the same time, you know? I don't know. So yeah, so I'm getting my brows done and a facial later and I want to go to the gym but we'll see what time it is when I'm done everything uh, because I always want to be home for dinner. So we'll see. But I think I'm going to, I have a banded workout that I recorded the other day. So I think I'm going to put that in this video instead of my non-existent gym workout that probably isn't going to happen. So let's do that. Um, hey guys, so I'm going to run you through a band at home workout 
Um, sometimes you just can't make it to the gym or you're at the gym and everyone's on the machines or you just don't feel like lifting weights. There's plenty of reasons. Um, I really like band workouts. I incorporate them, uh, I mean ideally once a week, but more like every other week, just to like get those little muscles and it just like hits different muscles. Um, that's why I do bar. I actually go to bar fitness classes because they do a lot of band work. Um, so then I don't have to do it by myself. But if you don't want to go to bar, you're not going to bar, you're not paying for bar, but you can buy bands, then this workout's for you. Um, this is going to be a full body workout. I'm using a medium, no, this is a like hard, hard resistance band. Um, I bought a pack from Sport Check that has a medium, hard, extra hard. Um, so I don't know, this is the hard one. The extra hard one was too hard to do with my triceps, I tried it out. So. Hard, full body, banded workout. Coming at ya. Welcome to another workout. Uh, like I said, this is an at home band workout. Um, or you can do it at the gym as long as you have bands. So I started warming up with side walks and side kicks. So this is really to get your glutes and legs warmed up. So take your time, it's not a rush. Uh, focus on the muscles and getting them activated because it'll make the rest of the workout not easier but better for your legs. Um, I suggested doing two rounds of these but uh, really do as many as you need to get warmed up. So I started the actual workout with a cardio. Um, this one I did three pulses and then a jump, uh, pointing your toes and making sure you're landing on the ball of your foot and then going to your heel. Um, push your arms back for momentum and really focus on squeezing your glutes at the top. Uh, do this for a minute and then take a 30 second break. Getting into the first superset, uh, there's three exercises in it and do 10 reps of each. And for the tricep pull downs, it's 10 reps on each arm. Uh, so this is obviously triceps and you wanna hold your arm steady that's holding the top of the band and then just push down with your other hand, focusing on uh, contracting the triceps at the bottom of the exercise. The second exercise in the superset is raised bicep curls, and it looks really easy because you think you're just holding your arms out, uh, but put pressure on the band to make sure that it's tight, and this will make the exercise much harder than it looks. Do 10 reps of this before moving on to the last exercise in the superset, uh, which is, I don't really have the official name, but chest openers, so you want to push outwards with the back of your hands um, and trying to use your shoulders and not your arms. The second cardio after the first superset is jumping jacks, keeping the band uh, a couple inches above your knees. It's very tiring. You really get the uh, sideline of your legs when you keep the band there. Uh, and do this for really as long as you want, but a minute on 30 seconds rest times three. For the second superset, um, I did two exercises. The first that you can see here are single leg Romanian deadlifts to a row. This also takes a lot of balance, so be patient with yourself because I fell over like a hundred times. So you wanna focus on the hamstring going down and then maintaining that and pulling up with your back. So do 10 on each side before moving on to the next exercise in the superset, which is a standing abduction. So I had a chair here uh, for balance, but if you have balance, then don't use a chair. Uh, but put the band just below your knees, never put it on your knees, so put it a couple inches below your knees, and then focus on your glute in your standing leg, as well as the leg that is being raised. Uh, try not to use, move your upper body as much to compensate for it. Uh, really focus on the muscles. So I did 10 reps on both sides. 
and then repeated the superset. For the final cardio coming up next, um, I did more squat jumps, so you're welcome. Uh, so these ones put the band back up above your knees, two, three inches above your knees, and then jump between a wide squat and a narrow squat. So same thing, make sure you're landing on the balls of your feet, going to your heels, and then pushing off in that motion, pointing your toes at the top to really squeeze the glutes. For the final superset, uh, we are doing glute bridges and clamshell pulses, which I don't know if that's the official name, but it just makes sense in my head. Uh, so start with your feet flat on the ground and do 10 reps of glute bridges, really squeezing your glutes at the top, and then do 10 reps with your heels lifted, and then do the clamshell pulses, start with your feet lifted and do 10 pushing your legs outwards, really focusing on using your glutes and not your knees, and then put your feet down and do 10 more. And then repeat that three times for the end of the band workout. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the workout. It took me, what time is it? Took me about an hour. Um, so yeah, if you have an hour, if you don't have an hour, just do like one set of all of them or two sets or do whatever you want, really. Um, but yeah, hope you liked it. My legs are sore, can't breathe, the usual. Um, when I do at home workouts, I do like incorporate the cardio in between sets just to like keep my heart rate going, feel like I get a better workout. Um, because I feel like when you're at home, you can kind of slack off but when you're just jumping you can't slack off you gotta jump or you don't jump so yeah so that's why there's cardio if you don't like cardio or you do like cardio do more or less honestly i hate cardio so i no judgment if you do like cardio but it'll help your workout be a better workout especially if this is your only workout of the day and you're just sneaking it in uh between whatever you do at home i don't know meetings children dogs so yeah that is that so i hope you enjoyed it and uh let me know if you want to see more at home workouts or more banded workouts um yeah cool